Hey tubers, welcome back for another adventure. So unfortunately, it looks like Harvey's been I got myself kind of caught caught up in this carport scam that's on Facebook and I'm going to talk about it so that you guys don't get tied up in it. So the way this scam works is there's a company that advertises on Facebook Marketplace and they have a really nice website and you could go see all the various carports and get pricing and all that kind of stuff. So they're the kind of the front end of this scam. So you look at the website, you pick the carport you like, you kind of go through the little spreadsheet they have there, figure out what it's going to cost, and then you call one of their sales reps. And there's a whole um, bunch of them. Now, once again, very impressive uh, website. As a matter of fact, they're still on there. You could go find them. I'm not going to mention their name quite yet. You pick your carport, you call them up. Um, if you're buying it outright, they charge you a 20% deposit. Okay, so you got something on order and they tell you it's going to show up in 6 to 10 weeks. When I did this um, September 22nd, right, um, I took a look at it and I figured, well, it'd be done right after Thanksgiving at the latest, so I should have no problems. Now, the company that took my 20%, they put an order in with yet another company to actually build this carport and deliver it. Then they don't want to know you anymore. Their payment was the 20% you paid, and once your carport is installed, it's between you and the company that manufactured it and perhaps installed it. There might yet be a, a third company in here that installs the whole thing. So where does the trouble come up? Well, the trouble comes up when 10 weeks have passed and there's no carport, right? You're looking at this really bare ground. Uh, the company is not opened up on Wednesdays, so you give them a call. And a lot of times, if you call them Monday or Tuesday, they say, well, we don't do the scheduling to the end of the week. If you call them up Thursday or Friday, they don't always answer the phone. I called up yesterday, managed to get a live person. They took a message, and I never got a call back. Meanwhile, I put down 20%, just under $600, $588 to be exact, and now they are ducking my phone calls. So last night, I said, you know, i got to stop fooling around with this. Time is passing. Winter's coming. I really need this carport, or I need to get my money back and make some other arrangements, whether I'm going to build a, a wooden carport or try to find another company that doesn't take me for a ride. So I'm looking for who owns the company, and as I'm doing those searches, I find a Better Business Bureau website, and it turns out they're splashed all over it. And the people on the website are making basically the same complaints that I am, except there's another couple of variables. One of the variables is they keep rescheduling. Okay, we're going to be there Friday. Um, make it next Wednesday. Make it next Friday. Okay, we're going to be there on Monday. Um, in my case, I'm retired, though that is painful, and I, I could be rescheduling all kinds of stuff around them. I could uh, do something about it without interfering with work. For a lot of people, now they keep missing work. And by the way, you don't get a call from them or when you track them down, that's when they reschedule. They don't call you ahead and say, hey, we're not going to be there. They just kind of don't show up and you got to start fishing again. Another part of the game is after kind of messing you around with not showing up and so forth, they do show up with a carport in tow, a carport on the trailer, right? 
and they take a look at your site and they tell you your site is inadequate. It's not level enough, it's not big enough, it's not something enough, and they get out of there quick, like they're on fire, which leads you to make another whole pile of phone calls. In my opinion, they're probably showing up and the carport on the back of their truck may or may not be meant for you. It might be the right one for you, but it may or may not be meant for you. If they show up and they say, hey, we can't install the carport because there's a mess, then you call up the company that took your 20% and say, hey, what's going on here? Then they call the installer and the installer says, hey, the site wasn't good. I couldn't install the carport. Either way, you have some amount of money outstanding. Now, in my case, in my case, I did a, a, an outright buy. 20% to get them started, 80% when it's all done, and theoretically, I'm happy with it. Other people end up with this rent-to-own situation and to me, it strikes me as if they actually make them put down more than the initial 20%. Um, probably has something to do with your credit or something. Anyway, it seems to me for a lot of those people who wrote into the Better Business Bureau website, they're out more than that 20%. Some of them 40 or 50, it seems. And once again, they got no carport to show it. Seems that there's also, for a lot of these people, um, they appear to be from New York, and one of the people started to mention that they did get into the get in touch with the company that was supposed to install it, and the company that was supposed to install it says we really can't install it because we don't have New York State Workmen's Compensation Insurance to work here in New York State. If you're a, a contractor, you need New York State Workmen's Comp, and if the person isn't from here, they don't necessarily know that, and if they've been tagged for that, that's not one of those things you want to get tagged for twice, right? If they catch you, I'm sure it could be quite the fine, and depending, they might start taking your stuff, like your tools and your truck and so forth. It's not a homeowner problem, right? My homeowner's insurance would cover me if there's any kind of issue, but immediately my homeowner's insurance would say, okay, we'll pay the rest, um, have their workman's, pay, workman's comp pay the initial um, charges. And when they have no workman's comp, my insurance is going to say they should never be working in New York. We're not paying anything. And we'll defend you in the lawsuit to make sure that you don't pay anything which leaves whomever gets hurt kind of in a bad place. So once again, workman's comp in New York is a really good idea if you're going to work here. Anyhow, so to bottom line this whole situation, I am out about 600 bucks. My stuff is getting rusty. I have about another... I don't know, close to 400 bucks in item four. I have close to $1,000 in renting an excavator and moving that box. And, you know, I have another bunch of money tied up in the shed. I think it was close to 300 bucks, 200, 300 bucks to put the platform under the shed. I have quite a lot of money out and all my toys are outside rusting and getting trashed. So... <laughs> About buying a carport on Facebook Marketplace. Be careful. Be careful. Ask them right out front. Hey, if it's not delivered in 10 weeks, do I get my money back? Do I get my 20% back if that's the way you're doing it? Or if you're doing a rent to own, am I going to get my money back? Supposedly on the rent-to-own contract, they actually make you sign a contract to do a rent-to-own, it says no refunds. I have no contract, I just have the 20% down, and once again, I must not be all that smart, because I, I shouldn't have done that. I mean, you see a big website, you see all kinds of people, 
they answer the phone, you order it, they know exactly what they're doing. They have pictures of carports of every version. They have a bunch of testimonials saying that this is the greatest thing in the world. And then 10 weeks goes by and your carport isn't here and you realize there's a not a lot you could do about it. Not that this is going to help me much and I might be out my $600. But luckily for me, I managed to get all the legal help I want without paying for it. I do have lawyers in the family. Some of you might be feeling sorry for me because that's true. But when you have a situation like this, that could be very, very helpful. At the minimum, I'm going to cause this company at least $600 worth of damage if not much more i'm going to call out the hounds of hell i'm sure for all the taxes i pay in new york state um, there's there's got to be somebody in a consumer protection order watching out for interstate fraud so i'm going to start i'm going to call them up and bother them some more if i can't get a real date from them um i'm going to start working on the consumer protection people. I put it on Discover card. I might even be able to call Discover and get the money pulled back, which means I really don't have to do anything. But it doesn't help me much. I need my carport. That's what I want. <laughs> you buy something and you should get what you pay for. I want my carport. It wasn't like it was discounted any place crazy. The price landed about what, where it should have landed. So. I want my carport. Anyway, I hope everybody enjoyed my rant. I'm sure I'm not the only person who've been scammed. Um, you know, the internet is good for that. Once again, thanks for watching and commenting and subscribing. And if anybody has any suggestions or if anybody knows a carport company somewhere that, that will put up a carport in the Hudson Valley, between now and Christmas, um, I, I would love to have them do it for me. I'll pay you. That's not a problem. I was willing to pay for this one. And then I'll just go back and try to get my $600 back or, you know, write it off as a loss. I mean, at this point, I need my carport. Once again, thank you for watching and commenting and subscribing and listening to my rant.